Welcome to the Thin Within Podcast, the show for women who want mental secrets for weight loss mastery. I'm your host, Marna Thal. I'm the owner of ThinWithin.com, and I'm here to give you the inside scoop on how to lose weight by mastering your inner game. Diets never work for me long term, and if you're like 95% of the rest of the human race, they haven't worked long term for you either. Every week, I'll give you tools, techniques, and resources you need to actually succeed in using the power of your mind to lose weight. I can't wait to teach you another mental secret, so let's dive right in. Well, hello, everybody. Are you ready to talk about unconscious eating and how to stop doing it? Well, good, because that is what we're going to be talking about today. Unconscious eating is eating without thinking. And when you're unconsciously eating, you're not enjoying your food and you're not paying attention to it in the way that you could. And it's a pattern that can also lead to a tremendous amount of weight gain and it can numb you out from really living your life and feeling your feelings. And for some of you, unconscious eating rarely ever happens, and it's no big deal. Like, maybe you eat a piece of candy without really paying much attention to the taste or the textures, and you move on. And it rarely happens. But for others of you, and for many of my clients that I work with, unconscious eating goes from a tiny little habit to a daily occurrence that gets bigger and bigger. And it goes from the small habit to this daily occurrence of using food to numb you out and to not feel your feelings and to escape into this alternative universe. So if you're struggling with daily or regular numbing out to not feel your feeling and using food to go unconscious from your life, that's more on the emotional eating side of things. And my emotional eating healing experience can really help you dramatically in that way. But that's not what I really want to touch on today. Today, I want to look at from a less of an emotional eating perspective, but more from a perspective when you sit down to eat and you check out and you go unconscious, and you don't taste your food. And I want to give you specific tools and specific strategies to really help you become more conscious in your eating, more aware of what you're doing, and really enjoy the taste of food so much more. So first, let's just break down what the goal of eating is, okay? So I like to think about the goal of eating is to have you satisfy your hunger, and give you energy to keep going on in your day. So that's what I really see the role of food being, is to satisfy your hunger and to give you the energy you need to keep going on your day and having an amazing day and amazing life. But because some of us are emotional eaters, some of us love the taste of food, as a bonus, if you can enjoy your food, it's a wonderful bonus. And that's especially important to those of us who are emotional eaters because we want to get enjoyment out of food. If we don't really taste our food and we don't really enjoy it, then what happens is is that oftentimes we can feel really deprived or really sad and go hunt for something else and keep hunting for something else. So I want to hunker in today and have you really focus in on getting more enjoyment out of your food by staying conscious. Because if you enjoy those tastes and textures, you're going to be less likely to feel deprived after your meal, enjoy your meal experience fully, more fully, more beautifully, more profoundly, because food is so beautiful. It's delicious. It has beautiful colors. And when you fully experience your meals consciously, you enjoy the meal and you enjoy the experience so much more. So if you can begin to practice slowing down and bring your awareness into your eating, you're going to begin to go from unconscious eating to much more conscious eating. And when you're conscious, you'll be able to lose weight because you won't be hunting for more food because you went unconscious. 
So let me give you a few tips to go from unconscious eating to more conscious eating. So the first thing that you want to do is recognize what true hunger is inside of your body. We spend a ton of time on this in my programs because it is the most important part of starting a meal. Because oftentimes what we think is hunger isn't true hunger or what we think is physical hunger is actual emotional hunger or thirst. So the first thing that you want to do is really recognize what true hunger is in your body. And by learning to recognize true hunger, you're going to be able to understand your body's cues of when it actually needs food rather than just your mental desire for food. So that is the first thing I want you to get good at is really feeling into your hunger. The next thing that I want you to do is start making sure that you are eating with awareness. And how do you begin to do that? Well, I want you to sit down. Now that you've recognized that you're hungry, I want you to sit down. Don't stand at the fridge and eat. Don't eat while driving. Sit down at a table with a plate in front of you. Look at your food. Notice it. Give thanks for it if that helps you stay connected to your food. I find giving thanks for my food and really recognize the beauty of the food helps me bring my awareness into my meal experience versus my head boinging around thinking of the million things I have to do and going unconscious and then feeling frustrated that I went unconscious versus tasted my food and enjoyed my meal. So if I can start with sitting down at the table and enjoying the occasion, enjoying giving gratitude, giving thanks to the meal and to the food and really recognizing that somebody had to do some work to get this food to me. It didn't just happen. Somebody had to pick a strawberry, bag the lettuce, do the work to get it to me. And I'm grateful, so grateful to all of those people that took the time and the energy to bring me this food. Then I want you to take a bite and put your food or fork down between bites. This is going to allow your tongue to taste your food and become more aware. Instead of going unconscious, this forces your brain to taste the food. Focus on it. Allow the food to go around in your mouth and really taste it. Sometimes I like to play the game of trying to figure out what ingredients are in my food. It just helps me taste the food more. So each time you take a bite, put the food down. If you're holding it or if you're using fork and knife, put your fork and knife down. Next, take a deep breath between bites. So when you put your food and or fork down between bites, notice the aftertaste. Slow down. Notice what the food feels like in your mouth and as you swallow your food. Become more mindful. Then after you have a few bites, take a sip of water. Pay attention to your body. Notice if you are liking the food that you're eating. Pay attention. If you are enjoying the food, great. If you're not enjoying it, what don't you like about the food? Start taking more time to chew your food. Enjoy the experience. Take time to really allow that food in your mouth. There's not any rush in this moment. It only takes 5, 10, 15 minutes to have a full and complete meal. So take the time and see if you can play with expanding your meal experience out longer with more enjoyment. Notice what you like. Notice the tastes and textures. Notice what you don't like. 
and pay attention to whether or not this is something that you would like to have again. And then lastly, feel into your body. Does your body like this food? Is it enjoying this? Are you starting to feel more satisfied by your food experience? Is the food feeling good in your body? Or do you notice yourself having a headache or a stomach ache or feeling uncomfortable? That's a great indicator that maybe there's some food type that isn't working so well in your body. Or if it's really working well inside of your body, then that's a good indication that this food item works really well for you. And then lastly, I want you to pay attention and notice the impact food is having on your body. Are you tired after your meal? That is not the point. Remember, we said the goal of eating is to have you satisfy your hunger and give you energy to keep you going on your day. So if you're feeling exhausted after your meal, that is not the point. That is an indicator that you've either overeaten or the food in your body is not the type of food that works well in your body. Because when you're eating food that works well in your body, it will get easily digested and continue to give you energy throughout the day. If you're tired, then it's an indication that you've overeaten or the food quality is not working in your body. And that is how we're going to start to bring unconscious eating to a more conscious experience inside of your meal experiences. You'll have more satisfaction, more enjoyment. You'll enjoy your meals more and get so much more psychological and physiological satisfaction from your meals that it won't leave you psychologically or physiologically wanting more. So I encourage you to use these tools, use these tips today, try it out on one meal and you can let me know, did you enjoy your meal experience? Were you more satisfied by your meal experience? By just taking some more time, bringing more consciousness, more enjoyment into your meal experience. And when you do that, your mind doesn't want to go hunt for more food. It feels psychologically and physically satisfied. Try this out. Let me know how it goes. And if you need more help with hunger, with eating more mindfully, with going from unconscious eating to becoming much more conscious, or you need help with the emotional eating, I encourage you to take the Thin Within method. And one of the cool things that we're doing in September is we're really looking at in the inner circle that you get access to for just $1 when you sign up for the Thin Within method, One of the things that we're doing that's pretty exciting in September is we're looking at self-sabotage. And I'm doing a whole lot of research and a whole lot of work looking at how to help you in the area of self-sabotage. So go sign up for the Thin Within Method. And for just $1 more for the first 30 days, you get access to the inner circle where you can join me for the month of September helping you really get a handle of your self-sabotaging behaviors with food. All right, everybody. Talk to you soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.